is going on guys wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0 as you can see they're victorious uh this solid ktg clan really didn't put up too much of a fight <clears throat> didn't have terrible bases but didn't have good bases in any sense either a uh, little bit of a highlight for this war was something i was impressed with scrolling through uh the attacks is a lot of guys came up and had six star wars it was actually really nice to to see some of these guys just beast mode it up and and pull off these six stars even though it wasn't the greatest clan to be against still that's an impressive feat especially when one of them is two uh three stars on town hall tents uh, so knx you are a boss man keep it up <clears throat> scroll down a little bit show who else diesel andrew iron wolf was in there with a the six star mal was in there with a the six star uh click clack uh a ah uh, a ah uh, i don't know <laughs> i'm canadian but when i say a like that it just doesn't make sense it should be eh uh gorn with the six star and i thought there was one more i know i'm missing someone i hope i don't miss someone dun, dun, dun. mal yeah i think i mentioned everyone so solid job guys <clears throat> I wish I could show attacks from all of you, but uh, there are just so many of you I won't be able to do that. Plus the fact that uh, I have a couple two or a couple three star TH10 attacks, I definitely want to show those. So we'll just kind of quickly scroll through. Obviously the bases got lit up, clean the nines. So fantastic job 2.0. Uh, you guys just just beasts all of you. <clears throat> and then the two three stars that I had mentioned on these 10. So fantastic job. They only used 40 attacks. They kind of gave up. However, we ended up with some great replays for you. So here we're going to jump in. KNX, the man on their number one. <clears throat> so he's got this little little thing. He basically uses his, abuses the fact that, it, I shouldn't say abuses, but uses the fact that he's got a level 40 king. And you'll see why. He can just send it in with the jump spell. It's just going to work its way in with the queen. So... He hasn't spent anything other than his king and queen. He's going to raise the king up right here. Locks on the defensive queen. Takes that out with no problem. And then he's standing right beside the air defense. And takes out the air defense. So, bam. With just his king, he took out the queen and an air defense. And the CC troops. With his queen, obviously. Uh, so then he's going to commence with his air attack. He's got four lava hounds. He drops the first two on that first air defense. Gets kind of good protection for these backside loons. Hastes him up. He likes to do this little horseshoe ring of, ha of haste around, the, around these type of bases. So he's going to send in perfect timing. I don't know if you guys caught that on this lava hound coming in. And then he still has one more max lava hound in his CC that I believe he sends in. Yep, there it is from this bottom side on this other air defense. Got a rage to rage the majority of the balloons he dropped at the beginning through the core over those Teslas. And really this base doesn't stand a chance from this point. He's got pups everywhere on the backside cleaning up. All defense, the air defense is actually the last, oh sorry, the Inferno is the last defense to go down along with the air defense so the fact that this is an air attack is kind of cool you just wreck this base knx keep it up man you're a boss a few more buildings right on nice three so we'll show the other one also by knx to complete his six star th10 war here <clears throat> but basically the same base design if you look at it it's it's almost the same thing i just did an Invicta war it was a crummy war but it's it has the same principle these ring bases are not great i know it's a little bit different game at the town hall 10 level when you're doing an anti two star but it just opens up so much especially when those air defense are right on the edge and exposed that king just walks in there see you later queen see you later air defense this queen's going to take a sec but she's going to rip all these cc troops up no problem he's got you know <laughs> basically 10 percent of the base including the queen and air defense and the cc troops now he can just send in again same thing two lava hounds sprinkle some loons in might have been a touch early on those loons because the wizard tower locked on and set onto the lava hound but it doesn't matter because knx is a boss he's going to get a couple haste the same thing horseshoe of haste and everything's going to haste into the core he's going to rage over the core there's the freeze for the inferno tower and the rage goes down he's got can't even count how many balloons in there loons are coming across so quickly and then he sends in a backside hound to take over right when that one dies like look at the timing on that the moment that popped that hound was 
a second on the incoming. It did that air defense did not switch from the one lava hound. It killed right to the new one. So KNX, your timing is impeccable. As you can see, he's taking a little bit of damage now from this Wiz Tower because the loons are grouped up with the lava hound. Lava hound actually busts, so he doesn't have any more hounds left. Sort of an like, oh, am I gonna get it moment? But these last few loons just rip these defenses apart and he's got pups everywhere so no problems as soon as these pups are done killing this king chasing them around they're gonna help with the dps on everything else and it's clean up so knx six stars you are a beast sir hats off to you for three oh one more oh two more i should say <laughs> for three there we go got it right <clears throat> All right, moving in to the TH9 attacks. This is Click Clack, number 25, stepping up to hit number 6, their max TH9. Uh, so we're going to go check this out. I truly believe Stone Goho is still your safest, most solid foundation of an attack style to, to three-star a Town Hall 9 like this. So you'll see Click Clack just does it by the book. <clears throat> Stone entry gets everything down, creates this huge funnel and moves his uh moves his royals in towards this uh this section in here because he wants the queen really to, he doesn't want the queen walking up there that's the thing he needs the queen taking out these cc troops king huge patience on on the king i mentioned this a few times in my videos i i can't stress more as long as you're leaving the breadcrumb for your king to not wander around the edge the longer you wait, the better, because he's just going to have that much more time to do work once he's in there. Like, look at this. Locks onto the queen just now. He's barely taken a hit of damage. I mean, yeah, he used his rage ability, but defensive queen is down. He's just going to clear out some of this trash, and their job's done. He sent in a couple hogs, take out the, uh, of the defenses up there, and then the, a good chunk of hogs down here that he's dropped a heal for. He knows that bomb is there. He also knows, I'm pretty sure there's a bomb set by this crossbow, but the fact that that defense is down... And this defense got taken down means he's not going to make bacon. So sends another big group, kind of does like a sandwich play. A pincer attack with the hogs. Same kind of thing. He's trying to path them back down through this heel so they only trigger the one bomb, which worked perfectly. You know, he's got them meeting up now. His heels are gone, but he still has a good chunk of hogs left. Just taking down the rest of these defenses. His queen now steps up to help him out. Really mortar and cannon, and it's clean up. So click, clack, kick, K. You continue to impress me, man. Keep it up. Good work. Three stars. <clears throat> All right, we'll drop down one and uh, check Mal's attack out. Number 19 hitting number seven. So this is their number two Town Hall 9. Again, nothing super impressive with the bases. You know, it's very compact base styles. But again, you know, like kind of weird things like this Tesla in the corner. I was wondering this as I watched these replays. What if the Tesla is the very last building? Does it just automatically pop? I don't know if I've ever actually seen that with all of the freaking Clash Clans replays I have watched. I don't think I've ever seen that. Doesn't happen in this attack, obviously, but uh, that's, a, that's a question I got that I'm curious about. <laughs> so his goal here is to get his king in, take out the defensive queen. He wants to take out the CC troops and that air defense. And he's got three Lama Hounds, two in, the, two in his bag and one in the CC. So he's going to commence his air attack now that Kill Squad's done their job. Sends a nice kind of spread on his Hounds because he's got, got two loons backing it in right behind. And then is able to drop these two untouched on these defenses. He's going to rage them in so every defense is taken care of on the way to the air defense. And then he sends in his Max Lava Hound solo on this other air D because it's going to be taking hits. It goes down pretty quick, but you kind of want it to pop in this situation. So he's still got a decent amount of loons. He's got four in the bag. All these have raged now over. There's one air defense left. He's just going to drop a rage here for this bottom section, and the loons are just going to trash through everything left. So Mal, well done, well executed. Can't have asked for, or couldn't have asked for a better Lalo. Great job, buddy. And then he drops two on that Tesla on the outside. I kind of wish it was the last building just so I could have answered my question. <clears throat> but can't complain about tree stars. A lot of cleanup here. Still is a unbusted golem there, too. And look at all the pups. Nice job, Mal. Three stars. Right. Uh, I think I had... 
One more to show you. Yeah, number 12 will drop down to Andrew, another stick star specialist here. It's not a terrible base. I mean, 18, 15 heroes. He's going to bring a max attack style with three Lava Hounds. So the max attack means he's going to bring four Earthquakes, one Heal, one Rage, and the Poison that is all getting used with the Kill Squad. So he's coming in from this 2 o'clock. He's going to bust this wall open. In a sec, is, that was his test wall breaker. Bust the wall open, lets everything in. He's going to use all these spells, like I said, on this kill squad. So in a moment, he's going to be dropping his king once the CC locks onto the golems. He drops the earthquakes to pretty much open up a huge section of this base. If so his golems wanted to walk, they'd walk all the way to that king. So he drops, you'll see the poison goes down, the rage goes down, the heal goes down, right? It's just to kind of keep everything alive, just for that little extra bit, so he can get both those air defenses, the sweeper, the defensive queen. Then he can send in his three Lamba Hounds on the remaining air defense, and really not a lot left of the base for 15 loons and three Lamba Hounds to deal with. 30% of the base is taken down. King moves in there. Again, great patience on the king. Say that about every guy in 2.0. That's a huge, huge difference from a lot of attacks I've seen at lower levels. And everything's taken care of, you know. Sweepers down, like I said. Defensive archer queens down, uh, and both air D are down. So great job. Commences with the attack on the on this upper air defense. Drops his first two lavas, then drops the other lava on this bottom one. So he just starts making this kind of horseshoe around what's left of this base. It's going to start pushing all the lava hounds directly at that air defense again because he used all his spells on the kill squad. Uh, to keep them alive, take such a section. He doesn't have any rages or, or hastes, unfortunately, but that's kind of the way this attack works. He doesn't need them, right? He's hoping for that air mine to hit his Lava Hound. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't have even got it to bust if both of them were still up. Only has this small section left. Little bit late on those loons. He wanted to distract that Wiz Tower from hitting the ch the big clump of loons there, but it doesn't matter. He's got enough for them to, to deal with this. Cannon, Mortar, it is clean up great job andrew fantastic attack that is three stars all right good job 2.0 that's another win in the bag i know we got a lot of good content coming up so uh, keep keep tuned, and uh, we're going to keep uh, flooding labs now with, with tons of content from 2.0 and, and Invicta. Uh, as you can see, we uploaded our first few. We're just kind of getting the ball rolling again. So uh, I know we got a lot of arranged wars for both clans coming up. So uh, just uh, hang in there, and you're going to start seeing some, some really, really nice war recaps. So thanks, guys, and until next time, I'm out.